Today, a candidate running for a seat on the Miami Beach City Commission is still in the race despite accusations of sexually inappropriate behavior from two different women. Several of his campaign staff have already quit over the allegations, and today, Rafael Velasquez is offering up an apology of sorts. Local Tanzalia and Motorhone has more. Rafael Velasquez is back on the campaign trail. So it's business as usual for you? Yeah, well, I'm trying to focus, you know, I mean, that's the only way, you know, I cannot be distracted. This after two women came forward accusing the Miami Beach Commissioner candidate of inappropriate behavior. Current Miami Beach Commissioner Kristen Rosen Gonzalez says Velasquez exposed his genitals to her during a car ride on October 18th. He was trying to, like, force my hand on him, and it was too much. Commissioner Rosen Gonzalez is a Democratic congressional candidate who supported Velasquez's campaign before the alleged incident. Did you expose yourself to Commissioner Rosen Gonzalez? Absolutely not. Francis Alban of Alban Communications says Velasquez grabbed her backside back in June while posing for a group photo and later sent her a text message saying she felt good. She looked good, she was happy. and She felt good? No, no, she, she looked good, she was, you know, it was, it was feeling good to see her again. Since then, three of Velasquez's campaign staffers announced they quit, posting this memo to Facebook. I think it was really uh, Rafael's response uh, to the allegations that we're, we decided that this is not something we uh, could stand up for. The Miami-Dade Democratic Party also withdrawing its support, saying in a statement, quote, upon learning of the allegation, the chair of the Miami-Dade Democratic Party immediately withdrew all support of Rafael Velasquez's campaign. We are now formally calling for him to withdraw from the race. And we do know Velasquez took to Facebook this morning to post an apology saying that he wanted to apologize to anyone who was offended by his communications, adding that he would be more mindful and sensitive in the future. We also know that he has no plans of suspending his campaign and says he will see this race to the end, hopefully winning. Reporting live in Miami Beach, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.